all right here let's find this uh, answer so here you have to find what is e the potential e of this circuit this is uh, we can use kvl here which was voltage law to find this we can take any two nodes so v1 v2 and take till zero okay so in this path if i if i travel from v2 to zero this v2 is a only unknown path unknown thing here so v2 uh, uh, v2 will be one thing and two volts i know one volts i know and zero volts i know so i'll be able to find v2 but i am supposed to find what is e so i have to include the e in my path so if it start from uh, v2 i'll have v2 2 volts and e 5 volts and 10 volts but at that time i have two variables v2 and e uh, what sometimes the students think is that they think we have to find v2 uh, first using this path and then you have to go uh, substitute that v2 and start from here yeah that is the right method nothing wrong but let's also look into something like this from 0 to 10 volts so 0 is known 1 volts minus 1 oh, okay 1 volts known e, e is no e is the only unknown so 5 and 10 so if you choose this path right this path is very very simple you see that this path choosing that path was very simple so let me choose this path because there's if i choose this path there's only one unknown i can do it if there's no other option left for you then you have to find v2 or v1 and then come but in this case we have a path where there is only one variable that is e okay so let me apply my uh let me apply my K, kvl from this path to this path okay and let me assume the current to be flowing in this direction this is my assumption of the current so without current assumption i will not be able to uh, write the exact polarities at each and every point correct okay let this not confuse us okay so one direction will be for one path is enough so let me write it so from here it's zero volts i'm starting from zero volts and it's a plus and a minus it's negative ending with negative so minus one volt and here's plus and a minus again it's negative so minus e and here uh five volts right it's plus and a minus again minus five and I'm ending at this point. So it's equal to that potential. So ending at 10 volts. So equal to that 10 volts wherever I'm ending. All right. This is my KVL written. So only one variable that is E. So what will be E? I take minus 6 minus 10. I'm bringing 10 this side so that E becomes positive. I take it there. So E becomes this. So E happens to be minus 10 minus 6 minus 16 volts. Do we have the option? Yes. So option A. That's all. It's not at all a uh, very difficult question. It's a very simple one. Thank you.